Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, we're doing something a little bit different and I'm gonna set Jack a bit of a challenge. So we're at our Wolvie job, and we're coming to the end stages as such. So what I have asked Jack to do is, I'm gonna give him this shed as a complete install for himself. So now what I'm trying to do with Jack is, for those of you who don't know who Jack is, Jack is our newest apprentice. He is doing an electrical course. <laughs> So what I've asked Jack to do is he's going to treat this as his own little job. So he's going to terminate it. So I've asked him, I've not told him what he needs. He's going to have to try and figure out what he's going to need to do this install. Um, because at the end of the day, I can't hold his hand forever. And yes, I will help him and guide him through everything. Um, and just I'm just trying to get him to think as if he was on his own. A little bit further on. And yeah, I'll massively help him on this, let's, let's be honest. He's going to be needing guidance and all the rest of it. But I just want to see how he gets on with it. So the plan is for here is it's literally going to be the armoured's going to be coming through here. SWA's coming through here. We're going to bring it up. We're going to put a, uh, a double socket on here and a switch fuse spur that we're going to power up. A um, We've got a four foot, I think it is, an IP rated um, strip light in the LED one. So, and that's basically it. It's not a big, big job in any means, but we've put it in. So the armoured's already in, it's already buried in. The rest of the lads did that the other the other week. So that runs along, along here, dug in all into the channel, and then it comes down to here. Now, I've run this in six mil, and yes, six mil is way over the top for what you need for what we're installing right now. But the homeowners are retired. For all I know, they might want to get into wood turning, running anything else off here, all sorts of stuff. So what is the point in in just run it in, you know, a bit of two and a half mil? Yeah, I could have done it in four, but I've done it in six, so here we are. So that's it's gonna make it a little bit more of a challenge for him to terminate it, but I think he's gonna smash it and I'm gonna try and get him to do a lot more of the recording than me, so which is great, and explain his actions. So if you haven't subscribed, link's in the corner. Hope you enjoy this and let's get stuck into it. Right, Jack's got Jack's got himself all set up down that other end now. So this is where it connects into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, get that all terminated in. So I'll do this bit for Jack. Um, so I'll get this bit terminated in here, um, and it's going to be rated with an RCBO, Type A RCBO at 16 amps, which is more than adequate for what, what we need down there. Uh -huh. So we've also got an isolator uh, inside the this little unit in here. So there's already an isolator that we've put in, so we can obviously to turn it off if he doesn't want it on down there. Uh, the board's up there, so it's all dead anyway at the minute, it's not doing anything at all. So I'll get that started, I'll start terminating that up, uh, and then we'll catch up with Jack in a minute. Right, so we're all ready. Um, I've left it at that state to be honest at the minute, because rather than having it um, messing about too much, Jack's still going to get on with the other end, so let's go and have a look and see how Jack's getting on. So. Right, are you getting on Jack? Alright. Getting on alright? Yeah. So he's uh, so obviously Jack's just trying to make off that armoured. You haven't done that much armoured to be fair, have you mate? No, not a lot, no. To be honest, it's, so it's all sort of throwing you in on the deep end really, you know. Mm. Um hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm, maybe. Uh yeah, so what I've tried to teach Jack we're doing is not going too too mad don't make it too tight there because if you do and you have made a mistake you know we've got room to to manoeuvre um, so Jack's brought the armoured through down there I don't know if you can see that very well so he's brought the armoured through so we'll seal all that and then he's gonna he's clipped it all up and the idea is the socket's gonna be there switch spur next to it and then the light because of this bracing piece here we're not gonna be able to go through there to put the light over that side so this is actually used more this end so it's like so there's that four foot there yes could have put two little bulkheads in but but we haven't so that's what's going in so i think that'll be more than enough in here anyway and if they do want another one we can 
drill through up there and bring it through. So, are you how are you getting on, Jack? Are you struggling? I'm all right. It, it's, uh, th these ones aren't coming off very well. These ones aren't here. Right, okay, so what you'll need to do there, so if you hold, you be cameraman. Yeah. I'll show you on there what, what you've done, okay? So, what what's happened there is that's a bit, so you haven't cut through enough with your with your slice. Yeah. Okay, and what you're gonna end up with, that's gonna, you're gonna struggle getting that right. Right. Because um, as you try to terminate that, you see how they're all a bit gnarly yeah. on there. So what I would do, because that's quite low on mm -hmm. there, so I'll try and so I can reduce that down a bit. Like I say, don't be afraid to make mistakes because that's how you're going to learn. Okay, and hopefully we've got to do it this way. So you just need to, as you tighten it up a little bit, Jack, you just need to adjust it. Yeah, so as, yeah. you're, as you're turning, just, just nip it up a little bit more and it's a little bit of a experience sort of jobby but it's a bit awkward because it because it's already cut that top it's not this bit there it's not cutting all that well so we'll see I've never actually tried to do it this way not sure whether I might have to just start again on there, Jack. There's possibilities. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to start again, so. What will I have to do? Hopefully, that will be enough there. We'll do it down this one. There's not enough basically the, well it will try to cut it there jack right yeah. there's not enough here to hold that all level so hopefully we can salvage this in. Try that. So before you cut that other one, because if you're not careful, you'll run out of room. So these ones, long ones, should be okay. So you just wiggle them like that. Yeah? Uh -huh. So what you'll need to do now is just work your way along. Don't cut any more down. So work your way along, wiggle them backwards and forwards uh, until they're all a clean cut all the way through. And then you want to be cutting that next bit. So if you, but you only literally just want to take the outer sheath off there mm -hmm. no further so you'll feel it as you turn it you'll feel it just catching on all the metal so once it's done that just go one more turn all the way round, and then you'll know that's that's deep enough and then with this one if you cut it about there we, all you need to do is literally just run your knife round okay not and then bend it backwards and forwards and it will peel off you go any deeper than that and you'll expose the conductors and that'll be no good so yes, but a few crack on with that. I'll go back up there. But no, that's all right, that's fine. Like I say, it's just experience, Jack, that's all, and just having a go. And if you don't um, if you don't have a go, you're never gonna learn, are you? Right, it's been a little bit now. Um, I've been getting on with some other testing and things like that sorted. So let's go and see what Jack's been up to, see how he's getting on, what questions and stuff he might have. Anything he's been struggling on. Let's go and have a look. How are you getting on, Jack? Decent. Decent? Mm -hmm. Happy? 
Uh -huh. Okay, little tip on that. See that? That grub screw there, so I'll just show you, show you guys at home. So if you take that grub screw out, because that's basically like a locking thing, so take that out first, yeah. and that will tighten up a lot a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. uh, on there, and then, I'll yeah, you've got that shroud, that, that's fine. That's no, no worries. Yeah, so how you found that so far, Jack? It's, it's been all right to be fair. I didn't think it was. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be too hard, but then I didn't think it was going to be too easy either. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's just practice, isn't it? And uh, like I say, looks like you've uh, you've done a good job there, mate. You got your ferrules on. Happy days. So, what we need to do as well, once you've got ready for that, you put your flying lead on, and then you've got an earth lug there that needs to be earthed as well. Yeah. Okay, and then from there we can earth up the uh, socket fronts because it's metal. Me metal, metal clad. Metal. Um, yeah, so looks good so far, mate, to be honest. So yeah, like I say, I'm trying to let Jack do as much as possible, especially in a little project like this, because it's perfect for Jack, really, to, to be getting on with. Um, as I've tested out all the rest of the circuits on the house, I'm going to get Jack to do all the testing as well on this circuit, so it's literally like his job, his baby, so we'll let him crack on with that. Right, Jack's all done down the other end, so now we're coming on to testing. Like I say, I'm gonna get Jack to do absolutely everything. I'm gonna do nothing and sit over there in my comfy chair and do nothing. So what we're gonna do now is gonna get Jack to null the leads on here. So if you turn that to ohms. That's it. So you'll see on there. So then that takes out the resistance of those leads, okay? So if you, leave that as it is now Jack and then so what what we've already done oh I don't know why I've got a weird line on this for some reason um don't know why hold on right so what we'll do because there's nobody else here anyway in the house so we'll turn all this off and we'll just rattle through all these right Jack so but Jack's not actually used these yet, so the keys are on there, mate. So if you unlock that, come on there. So these are all new for Jack as well. Let's unlock that. And then you just lift that up so it's a straight line and then unscrew it. That's it. It just drops on the floor. So what we'll do, so take your, take your cover off then mate, on there. Yeah, because the ones we normally use, they clip in. But we, uh, I find with the fuse box ones, they don't, I can only get onto the main switch, so which is a bit annoying when you're just working on one circuit. So George at uh, Consumer will sort me out with those. Thank you very much, George, much appreciated. It won't come all the way out. So there's only us here, there's no point locking this all off now yet. Yeah. That one. And then if you take, yeah, so just bring them up like that. 
Okay, so then if you take the CPC out of number two on there, and just drop it out of the, out of the terminal. Okay, then use your connector and put that onto the line and CPC. Okay, so we're all connected up now, so let's get down to the shed. Right, so we're down in the shed now, so what we'll do is, so just quickly show you what Jack's been up to, so in there, so he's got them all, all in, he's uh, put earthed all the, the back boxes and stuff on there, so they're straight through because it's metal clad, and then he's clipped it up using the DeWalt stapler all the way up and into here with a stuffing gland on there, so I'll jump out your way Jack, so if you undo your testing then, so when you're doing your testing you need to get to it really is your last point so just out of just we want to make sure that that socket's working so if you plug it into both sides and, and tell me what the result is there mate 0.14 so 0.14 yeah and then do the other one just to make sure that there's not a faulty socket or anything okay so we know that that's okay so if you put your, your leads on now mate Probes, yeah. yeah, you'll need the probes on, mate. This is what I feel like when I'm on my NRC assessment. This is like you feel like you're being being assessed, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so your last point now, Jack, is obviously your light up there. So you need to go onto your terminals there. The what terminal should I put them on? So what do you think you're gonna to need to put them on? Mm. So what what have you just what did you connect at the board? Oh uh, the live and earth. That's it. So line and CPC, yeah. Live and earth. And then you tell me if you get a result. No. And you're not getting a result there? Nope. Okay, why do you think that is? So much dodgy. So it's dodgy? Yeah, I don't know. Are you sure there's something dodgy? Or it's just not on. There you go, let's have a look. Okay, now retest re it. There you are. So 0.25. 0.25, okay. Mm -hmm. So you automatically you doubted your own ability and work, didn't you? Yeah. And you didn't need to. It's just a simple thing. That's why I've pointed to to everyone watching this. They knew I was pointing to that over there. So you record your highest result, okay? So your highest result on here. So on the iPad. So we. So your R1, R2 is what you've tested on there. So you need to put in your highest result in there, mate. Okay, so that's your highest result on the R1, R2. So what we now need to do is, we need to put all your fronts on, get all the light light up, and then what we'll do, we'll go down to the board and we'll do our insulation resistance testing. Right, so we're back at the board now. Um, we've got it on 500 volts on there, so if you take your, your link out then, Jack. And then if you click one onto, not, not on your link now, because you just oh. that's done with now. So one onto your line, one onto your CPC. So, and then press and hold test. Let's just keep it on 999, yeah, okay. So move that one across onto your neutral. Again, and then that CPC on. onto you onto your live yet. Oh, okay, that's picking up because you've got a neon lot on here. So no. you've got a neon on there. So if we turn that off on your isolator, I should... okay, go again. 
999. Okay, so what we now need to do is go to the other end and test backwards from the... So back from the switch spur back to this point and then we know then everything's all connected and all fine, all the cable's okay. So right, let's go down the other end and check that. We changed our mind and we, uh, we'll do it here at the, at the isolator on the outgoing side, the load side on there. I don't know whether you, you probably, you're not gonna see that. Hey, I'll try that. You got like a bird's eye view of Jack's head. On your no, you need to, so you're going to need to do see what you had it on the board, wasn't it? So you need to do your line and neutral. Oh, oh yeah, is that the only one you need to do? Yeah, because you've done it everywhere else. It's just because it reads through the through the neon. How would I test that then? So oh, what you need to do is take. So hold on, please hold. So you're going to need that, and then do that to just hold those on the two terminals. Yeah, it's still not. It's still not right. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So make sure that's on properly, just to be on the safe side. Because if you don't, because if you press that test button now, it will read nine nine nine. Okay, hold on. Right, turn that off then, dude. One second. Let's gonna have a little look. And see what. Let's see if that switch spurs back on down here. But this is the importance of doing your testing, isn't it? Making sure everything's right. So... Right. Yeah, there you go. So, you switch spurs on. So then that's reading all through the actual light fitting itself. Okay, Jack, do it again, mate. There you go. I bet you that's bang on now. How's that, Jack? Yeah, 999. 999, okay. So if you do that back at the board now, so you make sure that that's all, all good. Because it might not have actually been the neon at all on that. Yeah, so you just use those crop clips then. Okay, so you clip it onto the line and neutral up there, mate. And it's because that few spur was still on down there, so it's going through the light. Yeah, hold on. Uh, what is going on with that, Jack? Hold on. Please hold. Right, what's, what happened with that is when Jack had put those two on, they were actually touching each other. So the actual metal of that and that was actually touching. So if you want to check that again now, Jack, just to make sure, I'll just show everyone this. It is all fine. So yeah, so that's why that was connected up there like that. And that's why you got uh, a 0, 0.00 reading on there. So if you put those uh, cables back in there, and put them all away and then we just got to get the isolator back on and then I'll fill in the certificate for you so that's all done so RCD test is the next one so we're going to get that sorted so once Jack's done that I'll tell you what I'll put this front on while we're waiting So, got two tightens, you've got to torque them up. So loosen them off, loosen them off a tiny 
bit. Okay, so you've got to talk those up, Jack. So that is at 2.4, isn't it? Uh, no, on the top is 1.2 on there. So on the buzz bar, on the, buzz bar, on the uh, main earthing terminal, that's two. But if you do that, set at one point two. So if you do those, those on there now, that's it. So one, as soon as it's clicked, mate, it's at the right torque. Okay. So now you need to adjust that to two newtons. And then you can honestly say that it's all talked up. It's as per the manufacturer's instructions. Big fat screw in that. A different end on it. Let me see if I can try something else on there. Try that one, Jack. No, that's still too big as well. Can we have a look on there? The old duck, mate. you put your socket tester in there we're going to test the RCD now so or the RCBO sorry so you can do it at the board which is what I normally do but what I'll do because you're doing it rather than energizing it and you're having all your hands in there I'll put the board cover on we'll turn it on and you'll get on the other end other end plug it in and then we'll we'll test all that out so I'm now testing the RCBO in the shed I've brought down the socket tester i've got that with me here uh, i'm just gonna whack it in the plug and i'm gonna record my highest reading and um note it down so the highest result there we've got 28.2 milliseconds so we've entered that in and then the functional test now jack's just said what what is a functional test so this is a functional test jack so what the functional test is so you've got the test buttons on there so so you test that and reset it because on each and every one you have to make sure that's right because if it's not, the customers can't check it to make sure that that's, that's tripping out okay. So yeah, so now we're just lacking one last thing. We just need to go back down the shed and turn the lights on, make sure everything's okay. Um, we calculate the ZS values to be fair because I don't really know anyone who, who does it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, Jack, go and get the test out and then bring the, just the plug plug top, you know, the plug end on it, the normal plug lead. We don't normally, but we'll show you on this to be fair, but we don't normally bother doing the um, ZS, we always calculate it. Um, so, to be fair, my NIC assessor actually told me, he says, just calculate it because they don't really like you working live um, where, where you can and where you don't need to, so it's more than acceptable to do. Uh, calculated ZS so so we'll have, have our light on so yeah it's a jazzy little install so we'll just do a quick ZS on there so if you plug that in Jack so so on there oh wrong one there you go so if you plug that in mate but yeah so Nice little job to be fair, you're doing a good job there Jack. Thank you. 
So we just need to seal up the hole down there and uh, we're all ready to, ready to go. What you got on there dude? 0 0.65 okay so what you've got there is so that's your ZS on there so you've got 0 0.65 and then it's 356 uh, amps of maximum load on that socket there and that's it but like I say we normally calculate it to be honest so how do you think it's gone Jack? I think it went well to be fair. Enjoyed it? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So it's, it's good I find it's good just to, to let Jack crack on this is a perfect example of of why apprentices work you know for us because as well as, well as you get the right one anyway i mean jack still you know whatever but uh but it, you the only way to actually learn and and get better at the job is hands-on experience so he's done a good job i've not given you too much instruction i don't think um and he's asked at the right points when he's a bit confused about stuff so overall good job mate happy days so like I say, I think that's it for us. So like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this because we've enjoyed making it. Um, and like I say, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It keeps it growing. Uh, it keeps us wanting to make more and more content, you know, which we've got loads and loads more content coming. So, but yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Take, take care and see you on the next one.